Hi everybody, how are you doing? Are your lady friends doing your guy friends out there? Are you alright? So I just thought I'd give you an introduction here. Started off with a little bit of music, if you don't mind. So uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for my religious meeting to start it's on Sunday, June 25th, 2023. And uh, I thought about giving a little bit of ASMR, if you don't mind. I don't know if you like whispers or just regular talking. Well, I thought I'd present my video today. And I uh, thought I'd give you, I tried to give you a complete list of scriptures on the resurrection, like I mentioned in one of my debut videos earlier yesterday. Uh, before I begin that, I wanted to show you the different versions of the Bible that you might be interested in. Like this one is the King James Authorized Version. Some people like this. It has God's name in it in at least three places. Not necessarily restored in all the places that it should be. And here's what they call the New Living Translation Bible. And it was given to me as a gift. Some people like that one. Then I have a preference for this one. The 2013 revision of what was introduced in 1984 in the English rendering. So I don't know if you're familiar with this, if you like this. It's got a gray cover on it now. But uh, sometimes, from time to time, I will be reading from the New World Translation, if you don't mind, the 2013 revision. And I could be reading from other versions of the Bible, too to help you have a broader perspective. You know, just to cut down on some prejudices. I know some people don't want to stick in one place too often. They don't want to read out of one translation or one version of the Bible too much. You know. But uh, really interested in aromatic smells or what they call odors. Not bad odors, but I don't know if you've seen one of these. Blue lavender scent by X. Smells really good. Comes with a twist top on it. It's got a certain mechanism on it. This one I haven't used yet. Well, I have, but, you know, I'm saving it for a later time after I use the other one. It's called Excite. Most of the ladies go for this one right here. So I really noticed something. Smells really good, though. I think I'll just waste a little bit of it. Well, enough about that. Um, I'll just give you some ideas to think about. Anyway, um, how is it going? By the way, everything all right? I hope I can. I hope I can put you at ease. Okay, whatever's going on with the pressures out there and the system of things. My name is Andrew Westbrook, by the way, in case you don't know. And uh, I'm just looking to build up my clientele on YouTube. So about a week from now, a week from yesterday, I'll probably be able to accept donations. But for right now, you can either comment or ask if you have any questions. Or like the video if you like it. Just let me know that you're there. And... Uh, so let me begin by giving a complete list of what I thought would be scripture citations, not the quotation, but the scripture citations on the subject of the resurrection. Okay. And I would be arrogant to say that I have every one of them. You can do your own research and find out that the word resurrection appears more times than what I'm going to mention to you. But anyway, here's what it says on resurrection. First part starting out in the Hebrew scriptures and the first half of the Bible, then it goes into the second half of the Bible. Okay. First Kings chapter seventeen verse seventeen through twenty four. Second Kings chapter four verses seventeen through thirty seven. And then chapter twenty verses one through six of the same book of the Bible. 
And a similar one is found in Isaiah chapter 38, verses 1 through 5. And then there's Job 14, 14. And then a highlightable one in the same book of the Bible is chapter 33, 25 of Job. Then there's the book of Isaiah once again, chapter 25, verse 8. And the same book, chapter 26, verse 19 in Isaiah. Then there's Hosea 13, verse 14. Some people like to say Hosea. I think it's pronounced Hosea. I don't know. But anyway, then there's the book of Psalms, which is a book of a collection of songs written in Hebrew, Aramaic, from thousands of years ago. In Psalm chapter 37, verses 10 and 11 and 29. Then there's chapter 103, stanza 14 of the book of Psalms. Then there's Ezekiel 37, verses 6 through 8. Job 10, verse 11. Matthew 19, verse 28. John chapter 6, verses 39 and 44. And chapter 11, verse 25 of the same book of the Bible of John. You can read more verses than that in chapter 11 of John to help you get the full scope of it. Then there's Luke chapter 23, verse 43 about the paradise. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 3 and 4. And I'll give you a minute to write these down if you want to. I'll slow down a little bit. I know it's a lot to process, but don't stress yourself out. Don't pressure yourself too much. Everybody processes information at their own pace, at their own rate of speed. So, you can always back up and rewind the video if you want to, with the duration and the scroll bar and the timing. Anyway, let's move on, if you want to. Acts chapter 1, verse 22, same book of the Bible, chapter 2, verse 31, same book of the Bible, chapter 4, verse 33. Same book of the Bible, chapter 17, verse 32. Same book of the Bible, chapter 23, verses 6 and 8 of Acts. Same book of the Bible, chapter 24, verse 15. And then there's John, chapter 5, verses 28 and 29. First Corinthians 15, verses 11 through 15, and 26 and 45. 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 18. Hebrews, 11, verse 35. Revelation, 21, verses 3 and 4. Well, in case you were wondering in my previous video, I have what they call alternating exotropia. I have a wandering left eye and maybe a wandering right eye. I try to correct that with the proper protocols. You know, it doesn't always work for me when I don't wear my spectacles or my glasses. But anyway, it's a side effect or a side malady of early glaucoma, which I've had for over a decade now. I'm 43 now. I believe I started getting glaucoma when I was 27. That's why it's early glaucoma. But the Bible has an answer for that. I believe in Isaiah chapter 35, verses 5 and 6. Not just eyesight problems, not just healing the lame, but also hearing problems. You know, I have a Bluetooth hearing device which acts like an earbud. But anyway, we'll have yet to see the full realization, full scope of that in the future in the paradise. Or probably should have included that in my list. But anyway, uh, just to let you know, I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. According to Acts chapter 20, verse 30, I'm trying to draw attention to God's word, the Bible, his message, his promise for mankind in the future. And uh, according to 2 Timothy 2, verse 4, this is not about commercialism, not about commercial gain, being a soldier of Christ, 
I mean, it's okay to earn a decent living. It's okay to have money for a protection, as the Bible puts it. No matter what version of the Bible you use, what version of the Bible you read. But anyway, money is for protections. They're for a safeguard. So I'm not doing this for commercial reasons. I'm, I'm asking for a donation when the time comes. If you would like to, I'm not pressuring you, but if you would like to. Any questions, I can help you figure out things on a different subject. Because, you know, God's Word, the Bible is multifaceted. It's like a manual for life without giving us a press of human orders. No matter what technology may come along the way, no matter what may come our way, what obstacles may come, human nature always stays the same. We know that, right? We've been on this earth long enough. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, you know, it's been remarkable over the years what I've been able to accomplish with my 80% binaural sensor and neural hearing loss. My hearing was damaged when I was a baby from a drug called phenobarbital. Well, it's past the age of 19 now. There's not much I can do for that as far as compensatory action, you know, injunctive relief, punitive damages, personal injuries. But anyway, God has a plan for that. You know. And did I fail to mention that God has a name? Would you say it was Jesus? Or would you say it's Jehovah? I know the King James Authorized Version has Jehovah's name in about three places. Something to think about. But anyway, they have the answer to all of our problems, permanent solution to all of our problems without eradicating what's important. Well, that'll be all for now. I hope you enjoyed listening to what I have. I hope you receive the surgeons of energy from reading those scriptures when you get the chance. All right. Thank you for letting me introduce myself. Bye, lady friends. Bye, guy friends, wherever you are. And we'll talk later. All right.